Today we'll be reviewing Hennepin, a farmhouse saison produced by Brewery Amagong of Cooperstown, New York. To summarize the style, the Beer Judge Certification Style Guidelines states that a saison is most commonly a pale, refreshing, highly attenuated, moderately bitter, moderate strength Belgian ale with a very dry finish, typically highly carbonated and using non-barley cereal grains and optional spices for complexity as complements the expressive yeast character that is fruity, spicy, and not overly phenolic. Amagon describes Hennepin as an ale brewed with grains of paradise, coriander, ginger, and sweet orange peel. Brewery Amagong was founded in 1997, and Hennepin was one of the first beers it produced, in addition to being one of the first saisons produced in the United States. It is regarded by many as being one of the classics of American craft beer. Welcome, welcome everybody. Grab a beer and pull up a chair. It is time for another review. Today we're going to be talking about something kind of special. Uh, it's one of the first beers that I really remember loving a lot. Um, I got into beer my, I guess, junior year of college. Really had never, never had much of any alcohol up until that point. And like I said, this is one of the first beers I really remember getting interested in and caring about. I took a real interest in Belgian beer. And while this is not technically Belgian, it is part of the Duval family of ales, which is really great and I'm, I'm glad that they're part of that. Um, it is one that I distinctly remember just had my mind blown by. I was just, I, I fell in love with it. You know, a lot of people fall in love with the American IPAs. I fell in love with the Belgian styles. Um, so anyway, this is, as stated in the intro, this is Hennepin Farmhouse Saison or Saison Ale from Brewery Amagong out of Cooperstown. It is 7.7 .7 alcohol by volume. 7.7% alcohol by volume. And I um, want to talk about, obviously, how this tastes, if it's any good or not, and if it is good or, you know, even necessary, even sometimes if it's not, why you should care about it. So, first things first, we'll get the lid off here and get it into a glass and talk about it a little bit in the standard order. Um, unfortunately, just not not a beer I have enough, but you know it kind of goes that way when um, when you have something so easily available. So we're getting a very kind of fizzy one finger head. Kind of see it with a uh, very much a straw gold. Um, better retention than you would expect. It seems like um, you know it's um, it's moving a lot and it's it's dying down, but. Um, you know, this is kind of, you know, standard order for a Saison. It's got a good deal of kind of lightness coming in at the bottom, a bit of effervescence. I mean, it's a pretty beer. It's not a remarkably gorgeous beer, but uh, they get, definitely get points for head retention and a nice hazy color. That's kind of what you want from a Saison. So I would give this probably a three and a half out of five for that. Uh, go ahead and take in the nose, which if I recall correctly is one of the... Um, one of the most beautiful parts about this beer. Okay, so we're definitely getting a lot of um, a lot of notes that suggest hefeweizen. You're getting some banana and some clove, a lot of those real, real phenolic notes right off the bat, which is kind of it's not what I remember, and it's not quite what you'd expect. Although it's not bad, um, it's 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 pleasant. It's just kind of surprising. Um, Honestly, that's, that's kind of what I'm getting right off the bat. I'm missing some of the spice. I'm getting a little bit of it, and I'm missing some of the pepper. Um, so let me, let me give it another another minute here, and then we'll, we'll put a number on it. We may, may subject it to change. Okay, so right now I'm going to go ahead and give this a three. Um, uh, my reason for that is while the nose is pleasant, it smells like a German wit. It smells like a Hefeweizen. Not German wit, Hefeweizen. Um, and while that's pleasant, that's not what I asked for, and it's missing the key notes of intense spice and pepper. Um, and citrus, but, but really more the spice and the pepper, I think, are, are 
the most unique to Saison characteristics. So, um, so far we're going with a three and a half for appearance and a three for smell. Um, getting into the taste, the spice is definitely there. That uh, those phenolic notes though are actually kind of dominating. I'm very surprised. This is uh, coming through a lot. Um, and honestly, to the best of my recollection, it really shouldn't come through quite quite so much. Definitely get a little bit of citrus, a um, lot, a lot, a lot of yeast, which you should you should see with a saison more than any other style. The yeast moves moves the saison. That's what that's what's supposed to be going on there. Um, it's crisp. You get a bready note it's starting to open up a little bit. It's crisp. You get a bready note. You definitely get that citrus and that pepper. Um, and it's just, you know, j just a quick side note here, and I'll, I'll talk more about this in a little bit, but one of the things that, that does it for me about this beer is that while it's definitely rustic to a degree, you know, in, in, a, in a time where the, the, the term Saison and, and, and farmhouse ale have maybe been been cheapened a lot. This still represents to me the first saisons that I had. It's not you know, there, I have nothing. I'm nothing against this, the more sour saisons that are more like wild ales and saisons. But to me, it's it's a little bit misleading. And this is everything that I would expect a saison to be, and it's executed very well. It's it's distinctive, but it doesn't deviate too far from the plan. Definitely, you're still still getting that wheat, but the phenolic notes have died down a little bit. Um, the yeast has, has really come to the fore. The pepper is there, getting getting a subtle subtle kind of clean bitterness. Not a, not a lot. Honestly, you know, I, I'd be interested to see to see this beer. With a little bit more of a hot presence, it's got a subtle clean bitterness toward, excuse me, toward the end, but it's not overwhelming. And while I don't, I wouldn't like it to be overwhelming. I do think a lot of the times, saisons do need a good little bit of a bite toward the end. Um, but this is, um, it's very complex. It's one of those beers I think that I, you know I have a sentimental attachment to. But it's very crisp. And like I said, you know, you get getting a lot of citrus. You get some phenolic notes to start, and um, as it warms up, the yeast comes out more. That pepper and that citrus comes out more, um, and that general spicy character kind of comes out more. Um, as far as the mouthfeel goes, um, this is an incredibly dry beer. I'd say on, on the sweetness note, it's probably a little below medium. It, there's some sweetness there, but not much. Uh, but so it, it's an incredibly dry beer, and as I said before, it's very crisp and very refreshing. So on the taste, I'm going to go ahead and give it a, f let's say a four and a quarter. It's not the best beer I've ever had, but it is it is an excellent beer. Truly four and a quarter, 4.25 out of five. Um, and I'll... I'll go ahead and give the mouthfeel a four and a half out of five. Um, you know, it's incredibly dry, and that's what a saison should be. And like I said, you know, it's still got a little bit of a requisite, you know, sweetness there. It wasn't fully attenuated, um, or rather, the yeast is not the most attenuative, but it is truly a, a very crisp and very excellent beer. Um, so overall. I'm going to give this a four and a quarter. 
I think this is a truly excellent beer. I think that even given that it was produced sometime between, originally produced sometime between 1997 and the year 2000, um, I think there's a reason it's still produced. I imagine that's because it sells very well. Um, although I've only been consuming it since probably 2012 or 14. Um, it has not changed to me. And I think it is an excellent example of the style and a credit to the Belgians, which I, I don't think you can say about a lot of other ones. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this a, a four and a quarter overall. Um, that being said, context, why should you care? So you should care about this beer because this is one of the, the American beers, I think, responsible, in, in my mind, responsible for popularizing the Saison in the United States and producing a quality one, producing a quality American example. Um, they're, as I said, they're part of the Duval family of ales. I'm not sure when they joined Duval Mortgat. Um, honestly, I don't think it matters. You know, I'm, I'm against a lot of the corporate mergers, but when you merge with a great company like Duval, I don't have a problem with it because it's not like they've ever not produced great beer. So why would you not want to be a part of that? That makes total sense to me. But anyway, so I think it's, you know, if you, if, if you had to pick a Saison in the United States, produced in the United States, that is readily available and could be considered a classic, alongside other classic examples of other styles like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, Allagash White, um, Stone IPA, things like that. I, I think this I think this stands next to it. I really do. I think it's it's a phenomenal beer. I think it's probably as good now as it was when it was first brewed. And um, if you've never had a saison, I think you owe it to yourself to try this. Um, I think it'll open open your world up. Um, so anyway, those are my thoughts on Hennepin. If you have thoughts, you want to tell me I'm wrong or that I'm an idiot, please, please comment. Um, I always appreciate the feedback. Until next time, if you're brewing, keep brewing. If you're drinking, keep drinking. Prost, votre sang, and cheers.